Hi, my name's Katie and welcome to my channel. In this video today, it is a very special video because we are heading all the way from Australia to Long Island in New York to check out a 17,000 gallon home saltwater aquarium. It is like nothing you have ever seen before, but it doesn't just stop at the aquarium. We're going to look at what it takes to run this aquarium too. So we're gonna have a look at the whole system behind it and out the back. You're probably wondering what I am doing over in New York, looking at a fish tank like that, especially when I keep fresh water as well. In 2020, around COVID time, I started up a little salt water tank just to keep myself busy. I ended up as a part of a Facebook group that was called Salt Water Enthusiasts. And in this Facebook group, there was this guy that would post this huge salt water aquarium once a week on a Friday with some music in the background and everyone just loved it. Flash forward about three years and it's now known as Polo Reef and they have quite a little bit of a social media following now on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook too. Back in 2020, when I was looking at this on Facebook, I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would have the opportunity to go and see this aquarium in real life. However, as it turned out, I started making YouTube videos myself and I started to network and collaborate with other aquarium enthusiasts. And I reached out to Andrew Sandler and he said that he would be willing to show me around at Polo Reef. I stayed in Queens and I took the train out to Long Island and then met up with my friends, Mike and his brother, John. They picked me up from the train station and off we went and we got to the front gate, they let us in, buzzed us in, and we drove up this huge driveway to this mega mansion house. It was just absolutely gorgeous. At the moment, I am just over 40,000 subs, and my really big mega goal is to get to 100,000. If you value the work that I'm doing and you'd really like it to continue on, then please don't forget to subscribe. All of this stuff really helps to get these videos in the YouTube algorithm and get them to other people too. Without further ado, let's get into this video and check out this magnificent saltwater aquarium and what it takes to run it. For starters, Andrew obviously has a very beautiful house. So we're going to look at the koi pond, which is outside of the house as well at the end of this video too. But when you first enter into where the fish room is, you're greeted with this big, beautiful room. There's a big bar and there's a couple of other fish tanks too. This is the one, this is the boy that doesn't like strange boys. Oh yeah? He, he, but he's on, oh, he's on Xanax, so maybe he's calm. <laughs> That's one, uh, that's one way to Yeah. If you go upstairs to, there's Andrew's office and he's got another big salt water tank. This, first of all, is in my office, okay? Mm -hmm. This is another tank. Oh, yeah. 2,500 gallons. Oh. It's gonna be, you see the scape, it's gonna be beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, it, it's no power yet and stuff like that. And then we're gonna redo this tank with all anemones and clownfish, I think. That's nice too. Oh, yeah. And then this is your desk here? It's my desk, but it actually faces, because of the construction, the desk usually goes the other way. I was gonna say. Yeah, it faces <laughs> the TV. Uh, because of the construction of all this, we, we, we took up the, the area rugs and everything. Uh -huh. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, uh, all right, you ready for the music room? Oh yeah. yeah. I thought this is like... No. Nah. Fish tanks aren't Andrew's only hobby. He's also very much into music, so we got to check out this incredible sound system. Whoa. <laughs> I heard like all of the individual guitar parts. But let's head downstairs and finally have a proper look at this fish tank. There it is. It looks really clear now too. Yeah. Yeah, way clearer. It's way clearer. <laughs> Another dog. You've got a lot of dogs. <laughs> One of the things that is really cool too is there is this big gym that is right opposite the fish tank. Now the first thing you should do. When we arrived, there was actually someone diving in the aquarium because they were adding some new corals and checking on some corals as well. And with such a big fish tank like this, it's not like you can just lean your arm in. You've actually got to enter from behind. There's some big ladders that you climb up and you put your aquarium diving stuff on and get in the fish tank and move the corals around and everything. So that's why the water was a little bit murky when we first got there, but it cleared up. The person who's in the scuba diving suit here is one of the owners of Country Critters and they work very closely with Andrew Sandler to help upkeep his reef tank too. To the lab now, okay. which is under construction, uh -huh. but it looks a lot better than it used to. 
what are they doing diving in the tank? They're fixing some corals, the uh, one bleached out, it's broke, they're just, they're going to be blowing uh, pressure case there's some um, flatworms on the coral. Right, okay. Coral care. So we're actually, this is a huge crawl space where all the pipes come from the big tank. Yep. And so this was a hollow thing here, and we're putting tanks here, so we're, we got a concrete and steel bar. Yeah. And there'll be uh, display tanks and yeah. experimental tanks. We'll display one. Yeah, one, one display and a couple of experimental. And then we got these two raceways which are moved, they're going to they're be gone. We're going to have four glass ones on a rack this way. Yeah. Cool. And then this, this will then have a wall to come down and we'll okay. canopy this. And these are two beautiful display tanks. Yeah, that's beautiful. We keep, we, we keep growing coral on here. I love how you can have a tank that big that you see. Yeah. Well, because you can't have beautiful little pieces of coral in there. Yeah. That gets lost in there. Come on, we got some cool stuff to see in the back. Yeah. Stuff that moves. And so are these, um, are these frag? Quarantine, Quarantine frag. Yeah. Um, everything goes here first or in another system before we start dipping and inspecting. Yeah. I don't keep salt water. I've kept it a few yeah, times, but I don't know a lot about it. So. Yeah. There's two huge skimmers. Oh my gosh, I've seen skimmers before. Though, so I don't know how Those are two big ones. They're twins. It's a sulfur reactor. I don't know what that is. Denitrification. Okay. Right. No oh. nitrate. Oh, okay. So, fill up the sulfur. Yeah. Water moves up very slowly. The bacteria stay in the sulfur. Then it gets buffed up in the aragonite chamber. Ozone. Uh huh. Ozone? No. O3. Radioactive oxygen. Oh, okay. Binds to organics or things will work. No, it's uh, kind of vented outside. It's dangerous to breathe. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you say radioactive, that's yeah. dangerous. <laughs> and so, when was this built? Was it 2012? Did you say? Each part is different. The planning was 2012. The garage, this is the garage. Yeah. House ended here. Yeah. So, this is all two years of construction. Here's my automation. You know those little controllers that everybody has, Apex, whatever? Yeah, yeah. This is my oh. Apex. <laughs> oh my god. Sheesh. Wow. <laughs> Every line of code in here, the buildings are lines of code. Each one of these controls the speeds of the pumps. There's flow sensors on every pipe. It's like a nightmare for me in terms of cable management because I'm really bad at cable management. Yeah. Oh, this is, um, this is the master computer. We get alerts anytime on our trade control point. That's the that's the sump downstairs, 2134. Uh, these are the reactors. These are the skimmers. Here are my lights. Okay. Skimmers. Surge valves. Closed loop with the sand filter. You see these every every. There's a, there's a spare pump on, on every line, just in case the pump breaks. The flow sensor notices the flow is gone, it switches automatically. Wow. Okay. That's unbelievable. Hang on, just turn, I'll just turn your mic on here. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to connect to the... I'll just be back in one second, I'm just going to grab the connection. Cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Wow, that is some serious control panel. Yeah. So this must be like what aquariums use to maintain their systems and stuff. They don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> the bar way high. <laughs> I love it. See this tank or this tank? The hijacking. Well, they're in an isolated tank. Right. So this is uh, yep. an LPS display that's connected yeah. to the big tank. LPS, it's large polyp stony corals. Large polyps, okay. Not the aqua, like these yeah. are SPS in here. Do these? Yeah, yeah. And my fish would, would eat, a lot of those fish are not reef safe, so they would right. eat that coral. Oh, so yes. we keep reef safe fish, lower lighting, and we create a display. Then there's a separate display here of clams. I should clean the glass oh, of for you. clams? Yeah, you know Tridactyl clams? Yeah. Those are beautiful clams. They're gorgeous. Aren't they? Wow. They're beautiful. I've never seen them before, actually. Yeah, like, I know beautiful. what clams are, but not this type of clams. Gorgeous. Wow. 
And now we're setting up a new grow out tank here. Growing coral out here. That's awesome. Same water, different lights. And then are these for the big tank? Or I have one up from upstairs, I'll show you. These are all quarantine tanks, medicine. Oh, every yeah. fish gets medicated. Yes. 32 days oh, yeah. before they go in. Yeah. Chloroquine phosphate and a lot of antibiotics. Yeah. It's not the freshwater gig where you just raise the temperature. No. Not that. And we dose. Uh-huh. Oh. Daily. Squeeze by. That is incredible. Oh, wow. <laughs> the cobalt, chromium, iron. And just so you know what today's dosing schedule looked like. Oh, brine shrimp. Little hatchery. Yeah, because we're yeah. about to um, quarantine a bunch of purple queen antheas, and they're really tough eaters. Mm -hmm. And they only, they feed on very small live brine and like all the time. Mm -hmm. So we're getting them in. Um, they're difficult to quarantine. I probably lose a third through wow. with the medications. Gosh. But you need this, otherwise I'll lose two thirds or all of them. This is my daily, my daily dosing. Then we have all our medications and yeah. you guys think you see fish medications in fresh water. <laughs> These are all antibiotics. Oh <laughs> I got enough moxie. So you, you never, have you ever sore throat? You should just come here. The moxicillin, the kilos. <laughs> Uh, sulfur meds, nitrofurazone, erythromycin, praziquantel, we use a lot to deworm, mm -hmm. metrodonazole, uh -huh. also deworming. Uh, yes, yes. So it's part of the process and uh, important part in there. And we use a lot of vitamins, we even make our own food. Mm. In fact, we make our oh, own yeah, seafood. I was going to yeah. ask you what you feed the fish. <laughs> So we feed, oh. this is a packaged seafood, uh -huh. right? But I have my chef make these. Yeah. This is a, uh, my chef special. He goes to the seafood market and he picks out things up and we freeze it and we put vitamins in it. And yeah. And we put them here and we feed it along with the rest of the stuff. Nice. You got a recipe? Is it yeah, a secret recipe? It's a secret recipe. It's from Europe. <laughs> oh, that's fancy. <laughs> it's got it's got gonads or something in it. Some fish gonads. <laughs> <laughs> and so, do you feed your fish normally, or do you get someone to do that? Oh, they, they do it. No, it's a, it's a you, big you process. Don't feed them? I, would feed I do them if they're not fish. here. I but, love feeding but my they're, fish. They make they make. <laughs> There's too much. They food. make five pounds a day. This is half. It's already half used already today. And wow, just from today. Yeah. And we defrost Gosh. it in a big bucket. And then we make, you know, uh, our water, you know? Yeah, yeah. Pure know, fresh water. I, I know what that is. You do know. I do know, you what, know what, what most our water drip, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. But here's mine. That's pure our water. Wow. That's, that's intense. 10,000 gallons a day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and we can heat that water up. Yeah. In. We have a 1.2 million BTU heater that can heat that water up from 60 to 80 in about 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Wow. I'm gonna show you the That's vats. Insane. Let me show you the vats. Oh. Hold on, Phoebe, stay there. Stay there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. 5,000 gallon water vat. We'll go down, we'll see it. Okay, you can go down there. Oh, oh yeah, we'll go down. There's another floor. Come on, we'll go, you wanna go to the engine room? Yeah. You do, right? Yeah. <laughs> this room, by the way, this is the big UV filter, UV sterilized, 4,000 watts. That's the one for my upstairs tank. Huh? Mine are this big. <laughs> That, that kills free swimming air and velvet and everything wow, in the water. That's awesome. That's the big sand filter. We just backwashed with the yep. water change. Yep. All right, ready? Yep. Hold on, Phoebs. So we built 40 feet below ground. These are the vats I just showed you. Yeah. This is a sump to my, my office tank. Yeah, for your office tank. Not hooked up yet. Uh-huh, okay. Let's go around this way. I'm gonna show you yep. the, big, the big system. This is 
it. Yes. And all the water flies. You want to step up here with the camera. What's up? Take the camera up there. It's 1,200 gallons per minute flying into there. It's like a jacuzzi. Flying through back to returns. Wow. Uh, with a pool filter circulate uh, cleaning. Uh -huh. This room took three, four years to build the pipe. Three years. We had to go down 14 feet. Yeah. This is 14 feet. And then concrete. Oh my god. And so can you go down any further or is that just for this? That's the bottom. Yeah, that's the bottom. Of and so was just yeah. down there uh, cleaning this thing wow. in, a, in a scuba suit the other yeah. day. Oh my god. Incredible. So you must have as many gallons in here as you do in the tank. Over. That's correct, but that tank's going to be, that tank will be 900 gallons soon, so. That's going to look nice. Slow. Beautiful, yeah. What is this thing? It's a separate little system. Another system? <laughs> this is for that tank next to the barn. So. Oh. Oh but it will be much bigger. Yeah, that'd be awesome. While we were there, they were actually doing a log and trying to keep track of all the species of coral and the fish and estimate what their value would be, just so Andrew's got a record of that, which is, again, a full-time job for a few people to be keeping track of that. And so do you know every single piece of coral that you've got in here? Like, do you pick them all out and then appreciate each single one, or...? I think, I think we know pretty much, yeah, yeah, yes. This will be a problem. Yeah. We're about to... Well, actually, we're doing that right now. Oh, are you picking them all up? We're trying, we're trying to ah. go through the whole list, and we're trying to yeah. create some kind of method uh -huh. to somewhat have some kind of value to this. Yeah. Like, we know the values of the corals as they come in, but they've been coming in for a whole year, so the batches yeah. of it. There's some special pieces here that have sentimental value. I don't know if you guys know about Jake Adams, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's a couple of... Um, we have a couple of his pieces in here. Yeah. Several of them. They actually pointed out a few different corals that Jake Adams had given to them as well, which was really nice. So for those who don't know, Jake Adams was a part of Reef Builders, and he unfortunately passed away in October 2022 while on a flight to Bali unexpectedly. So that was a huge tragedy and a huge loss for everyone in the aquarium hobby. So to be able to see something that belonged to him in this tank was really really special and then the rest is sort of around the smaller piece oh this is this orange Monty was Jake's mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh wow you even got ones at the front wow that's awesome are you more into coral or fish it depends Can't on choose. the day it depends <laughs> on the day the coral I don't know it depends on what fish depends on what fish yeah. If I can't get them anymore, I'm gonna shut the light off. This is gorgeous. Yeah, this is just. Uh, oh my goodness, it looks beautiful from this side. A beautiful view, yeah. That is beautiful. And the fish wow. get fed from this side, so they're they're usually here. Yeah, more. yeah. I noticed that they're around yeah. here. You know, there's a lot yeah. of things that that you wouldn't expect, uh, engineering-wise, yeah. from dehumidification, mm -hmm. the computer. You saw it. Yes. I mean, that, that's that's all custom PLC code, that whole quarantine room. Like, yes. you know, you gotta build at the capacity, otherwise yep. something gets through and you get wiped out. And you've got the O3, I think you called it. Ozone? Yes. Yeah, we have some ozone. <laughs> yes, we're running to about three today. and a half grams of ozone, controlled yeah. by a uh, ORP meter, an ORP meter, yeah. which measures the ORP in the tank. Mm -hmm. And then we have several ORP meters measuring the tank not on the computer system to check the computer mm -hmm. <laughs> to check the computer, to check the computer. <laughs> yes <laughs> that's funny. you have to have redundancy yes that makes sense yeah and so and also you've got a big team too you've actually got a couple of people here do you yeah know that's true there's, there's, there's two of them there oh, and jc and Rashid the over here <laughs> we're actually uh seven of us seven of us now full time yeah. and 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 a few and a few on the team, Video, like, like videographer, videographer. videographer. We obviously there's the marketing and the merchandise that all goes to charity. Check us out on polarreef.com. Yep. Uh, and then for, from a maintenance standpoint, I do a little of the operations and in the back and dive from the shell. And maintenance, you have about four people. 
So we try to keep it a light crew, but yeah, we do light a little crew. Take, only takes four people to maintain this tank. Yeah, just just four people. And, and there's another one coming. The big well, one up there's there. really about twenty tanks though. Just so you guys right. know. Right, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Maybe maybe a cyclo tank in the future. Who yeah, knows? Yes. Fresh then, water. Yeah, and Discus, you've got your own incredible Discus tank Amazon too. Neon yeah. Tetra. Yes. In the corner over there. Yeah. In the corner over there. Yes. Yeah. It's coming. Yes. That's the next and, um, and what's your social media as well? Your Instagram? Stories Reef. Stories Reef. Yeah. J S E A. Nice. Okay, I'll put that up on the screen as well because awesome. you've got some incredible was, text it, too. It, it, yeah. it, was, it was great to meet you. Yeah, lovely to meet you but, too. You know, I, I wanted to meet you because, like, outside of reefing, Cichlid Tank was my favorite time. Yeah. Cichlid's so, awesome. So I'll be, checking, I'll be checking you guys out. That's awesome. Well, lovely to meet you guys See too. Likewise. See you guys. Likewise. See you guys. I'm so glad that you got this, like, on YouTube and everything because I found you originally from a salt water group on Facebook ages yeah. ago. Yeah. And you used to post it with the music going. Yeah. It was so popular. I mean, that was the beginning. Yeah, that now was the beginning. Now we're. Uh, you know, 150,000 followers around yeah, and, and growing and, and growing every day. Yeah, I'm so glad that you're and, able to and share it. And when the pond gets filled, yeah. uh, which, whoa, oh, this Beep. is my Phoebe. <laughs> and, and the discus tank gets done, we'll, yeah. we'll have a freshwater crowd. Yep, that's awesome. Is there anything in particular in here that is like your prized fish or coral or anything? Oh, wow, there are, uh, you know, like, let me see if I pet. <laughs> There's one fish in here. There, there's okay, one. Cool. No, there's actually even a rarer fish than him. Ooh, but, oh. but he's changed colors so much that he looks more like oh. a regular one. Oh. You see that one right there in the back? The black one with the white coming across? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That monster frisbee? Yeah. This they caught in the Maldives. Yeah. But he's getting darker. He was half white. Oh, no way. Yeah. That's uh, a shame. Huh. That's the that's the uh, color morph problem. Yeah, yeah. They change color a lot. It's um like there's a tang in here, and it. I think you said it was more white before. Yeah, it was white. It was a white people Similar tang from Hawaii. Yeah. That same. That also. That yeah, was a white one too. Yeah. And the, and it turned yellow, <laughs> but it, you. yeah. No, they, it's in their <laughs> diet. It's something in their diet. Do you color feed these guys this tank? We do not. You do not. Okay. We yeah. do not color. Or feed. natural colors. Yep. Okay. We feed vitamins and yeah. krill oil and, yeah, all that amazing and children's stuff. vitamins and all yeah. that stuff, but no color. The frame was here, February 2014. Okay, 2014. Right, so it's approaching 10 years, but not quite. Uh, the frame was here. Uh, the first fish, November 2019. Oh, oh, so that took a long time to Yeah, I had a lot of wow. checks right, written, just Gosh. was nothing. Yeah. And then the first coral was not until like early 22. Really? Late 21, yeah. Oh, so no way. the tank is, like from a coral standpoint, yeah. the tank's new. It is. Brand it's, new. it's very new. It's got a lot of growing into Yeah, do. a lot of growing to do. It's so, how have you guys made it look so established? And maybe it's me not being we, uh, salt we, water. We but. basically um, took colonies from yeah. other tanks, breakdowns. Right. That people needed to move or sell or, um, you know, so people took mature colonies, but they were grown out. Mm -hmm. um, and it was time to rehome. Do you have a favorite coral at all? That, no, I have no favorite corals. But there are corals in here that, that are like you can't ever get anymore. Like that Jake Adams coral I showed you. Yes, yes. Like no, no one even, even knows what species or what ocean that came from. Ha, has it been in the hobby for years? If, that would be, if I lost that one, that would be heartbreaking. Yes. So th to me, it's more of a function of what you can't get anymore. Yeah. If you lose that, that's... Yes, it's priceless. Yes, priceless. Yes. How often do you guys water change this? There's a movement in, this, in the saltwater hobby that believe water changes are the pa for the past. Right. That oh, okay. between the right skimming, whatever, and if you dose all those elements, yeah. you don't ever need to do water changes. That said, I'm sort of a little bit of an old school guy. Yeah. And we have to backwash our sand filter. And we use this water f around the house for the vats. And we have those filters that need to be rinsed, the sulfur reactor, and we, the, we, the waste goes out the drain. Yes. So we think we're changing on the magnitude between all those things. Maybe 2,000, 1,500, 2,000 gallons a week. Wow. How long does it take to change that, like to do a water change? Do it on the computer, not long. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> not long. Yeah, well, we saw the ROS. Not system. long. Yeah, not, not long. long. <laughs> Computer system does it does a wonderful job. Your lighting. Should we walk around? We'll go around yeah. the side. Um, what lights do you have on this to light this up? We actually have uh, have a combination of lighting, which is unusual. Yeah. We're using big commercial LED fixtures. Yeah. Which you see a lot in big aquariums, but we're also using metal halides. Okay. Which are the old style bulbs that are... Oh, no way. Yeah, like really hot kind of oh. things that people got rid of. And yeah, they yeah. may even be banned at some point, but oh. we'll use them. Oh. And they do a nice job um, adding a little extra broadband spectrum that the LEDs... The LED oh. spectrum is a little short. Yeah, okay. Stops it below UV, real UV. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it goes to like 700. And the metal halides... A little broader, and you don't get as many blue. That's crazy blue peak. Mm, so okay. they mix very well together. Yes. If you use the blue LED and plus the halide. Yes, interesting. I never would have thought of that. Yeah. Um, the one thing we haven't seen is the pond. Did you want to show us I'll, the pond? Sure, I'll walk you. Out. Yeah, perfect. I'm so excited to see this. So let me just tell you what yeah. the deal with this pond is. Okay. We made the amateur mistake, and we'll go with the pond company for the looks. Yes. And they put gravel in the pond and, and they didn't build it deep enough and the filters mm -hmm. weren't uh, true bottom drains. Yeah. And so when we started buying these expensive koi, they weren't doing well enough. Okay. So we re decided uh. to, to let it ride through the winter. She can come with us. <laughs> let it ride through the winter. Mm -hmm. and we were going to rebuild the pond in the spring. Okay. So one pond has been rebuilt and all the rocks taken out and it now is seven feet deep and not three feet deep. Mm -hmm. We're still waiting for filters and the healthy fish so far are in that, that pond. And that pond right. is still clearing up as mm -hmm. we speak. Okay. The other pond, once all the fish get moved, we're gonna do the same thing too, and right. dig it up and get rid of the gravel and so forth. How cold does it get here? Well, that's the other thing. Yeah. We decided that we had we, we heated this pond, Ooh. the small pond, and to about 50 in the, in, and wow. we now have the ability of making this oh. water, this is gonna be 70 degrees and we'll, and we'll have a greenhouse over it. Yeah. This one will be spectacular. Wow. When, it, when it's ready. And, it will, and then all the fish will move here as opposed to up there. This is incredible. <laughs> I was only looking at this part. I saw this. I no, didn't it's see a beautiful that. place. Yeah, 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 it's gorgeous. This and is there's amazing. fish on the other side too. This is amazing. Wow. I mean, I can't wait to get some beautiful oh, koi. These are big koi. Those are big ones, How yeah. old are those guys? Uh, a couple of years. I mean, I had them, but yeah. I, I don't know. They've, they came old. <laughs> and so we're building all this new filtration here. Yeah. This is all new. This whole pit, this whole pit is new. Yeah. And so Ooh. you got these uh, rotary drum filters, but we're waiting for these Baki showers that are stacked up and it acts as more bio filter and, and more UV also we're doing. Uh -huh. And so I think in the next two weeks, yeah. this pond should be ready to go. And Great. I, I, you know, we're gonna buy some Japanese koi. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I'm excited yeah, about it. Yeah, you showed us those really cool ones. What were they called again, the ones that you- Yeah, yeah. what were those called again? Oh no, you can't remember. Uh, <laughs> They're beautiful. I know, they were. I'll have to try to find them. This is, the, this is the pond that's been fixed. And we're waiting for the water to clear up, wow. but it's almost getting there. <laughs> a few days ago, you couldn't even see the bottom drains. It was incredible. And then we're going to do the same construction job we did to that pond, mm -hmm. which is to make it deeper, take out the rocks. Yeah. They yeah. Plenty of room in here. Yeah. And so... And <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to step on that rock. That's the skimmer, Phoebe. And so, and you like fresh water too, because you were saying that you started out with fresh water. Yeah, I like fresh water. water. Yeah. I, you know, it was the typical challenge thing. Yeah. I like fresh water. Yeah. What fresh water tank did you start with? Like, what was your first ever tank? I'm not even sure I remember. Kissing Garamis. Oh, yeah. Just like, everybody, yeah, you know, like, thing. and then, you know, the live bearers and the mollies. And then mm -hmm. from there, 
uh, discus and angels, African, uh, yes. African cichlids to yes, salt water. African cichlids. I did. I did the. Uh, the normal, yeah, the, the normal, normal route. Yeah, the normal route. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've tried salt water a little bit, but I always go back to fresh water. Just too many things to think about. Uh, to me, like, I'm used to reading all those chemicals and, you know, whatever. Yeah. And this is like, what do you mean? Just, just, just taking pH and nitrate? Uh -huh. it, it seems very basic to me. Yeah, oh yeah, very basic this compared so to easy, what you yeah. do. <laughs> but, but the equipment to run this, like, you know, you need serious, you need UV lights and you need, you need equipment. Yeah. So if you really do it well. You're talking about possibly having 10, 20, $30,000 koi here. You, you, you can't have... Uh, you don't want to take chances. No, oh, no and, and, and the original pond was no. not built for that. The original pond was built for aesthetics. Mm -hmm. mm. So it wasn't yeah. made to have fish in it. It was meant to have... For like cheap koi. Yeah. 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 A couple thousand, thousand dollar koi. Yeah. And so having experienced so many things, like what would you say is your favorite thing about the hobby? The distraction. Yeah, it my gives brain. You busy. Yeah, good mindfulness. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it gives you something to do. Yep. It's always interesting and stimulating. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. I think that's why everyone does challenge. It. Yeah. Yeah, challenge. Yep. Yeah, you can always grow. There's always more you Inspire can do. Inspire people. I like to. Oh, I like. I love to yeah. create sparks. Yes. And what about art as well? It's kind of like a work of art too. Fish tank. It's like it's living. It's living yeah, art. It yeah. It is living yeah. art. Yeah. 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 A lot of creativity that goes into it. Yep. Well, before we finish up, is there anything else that you would like to mention or show us or anything? No, you'll have to come back the next time the, oh. the office tank is, is ready because <laughs> that's the one we're going to be working uh, on. I'll fly from Australia. And then hopefully, again, hopefully sure. uh, the koi pond will be low. I mean, we could put yeah. 50 of them in here. Probably more than that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you'll have to check out Greg Woodstock. So that's where I'm going yep. to Chicago to his aquarium to check yep. out all of his pond stuff. Yep. He's into koi and everything. Yep. You'll yep. love it. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. I really appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, you guys coming. Thank you so much. Beautiful yeah. day for you. So, yeah, thank you. It. It's been fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks. Hope you guys yeah, really enjoyed seeing done, this video. Enjoyed I'm sure you did. Yeah, yeah. It's more yeah, incredible yeah. in real life, yeah. though, I've got to say. Like seeing this saltwater tank and everything. Come on, From Fibs. seeing this on Facebook a few years ago, this is something I never thought I'd experience, actually being able to come and see this in real life. So it's been absolutely incredible. And thank you so much to John for filming as well. I really appreciate that. Yeah. I hope you've been able to take it in it's as well. Whole experience. As we go it's around like the zoo. camera and everything. Yeah. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't nice. forget to give it a like. Thank you Let so me know much. what you think thank in the you. comments below and what your favorite yeah. thing about all of this is. And so if you're enjoying my content too, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. You can hit the little bell notification to get notified every yeah, time I, I upload a new oh, video yeah, too. And right now, while I'm over in the States, because um, I'm from Australia originally, for those who don't know as well, I'm going to be getting lots of different footage of everything as we go. So going to be visiting Greg Whitstock in Chicago too. I've already gone. Phoebe, let's go downstairs. And I recently also did a podcast with Mike too on their channel Scaled Up. And I go through my entire trip and everything. All right. Well, that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.